and welcome to this video. Uh, I thought I would show you this. I have just updated my Unity to 2018 and along with it I thought I would give this a try. Pro Builder and Pro Grid. You can see the Pro Grid working there. And I have to say I think this is probably one of the best moves Unity has done. Putting a modeler inside this engine is fantastic now it's currently very basic it's a very simple modeler and it's absolutely superb for level design really really good uh, i've only just started scraping the surface so i'm going to do some much more detailed videos on this later on uh, but i just wanted to share this with you if you're not using this then you really need to check it out it's free it's absolutely free now on the asset store uh, and you can download it along with pro builder and another tool i forget the name of pro shape i think it's called but i haven't checked that out but this is fantastic there's one feature in this apart from the modeling capabilities which is they're pretty pretty stand pretty basic i mean you know you've got things like you know you've got all your commands down here on the left and you can have it as a text list or you can change it to icon mode like so I just prefer the text so I can see what actually, what they actually are. Um, and you've got your four modes up here. You've got your model, your object mode, vertex mode, edge mode, and face mode. So, for example, if I go to edge mode, you know, it's very, very basic. I've, like I said, I've played this for about 15 minutes. But it's if you're a modeler, it's pretty standard. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. If I select an edge like that... I can insert like an edge loop, boom, like just like that. You can see that it's inserted an edge loop. And I, once I've selected that, I can move it. Because I've got this grid, this working with Pro Grid and Pro Builder, it's almost like a dream. It's it's so satisfying. You can change. This is Pro Grid here, uh, so you can set this up however you want. You can have your your snap points to as little or as big as you want. You can snap it to every. Uh, unit or every whatever it doesn't matter and you can clearly see it as you're working here in the background it would change access depending on which access you're working in so if I start moving up and down you can see it, move, it changes the grid changes if I move this way you can see it changes and same with that way fantastic like I said the tools are pretty standard uh, you can do some very simple things like um, I can change I can make a hole in this for example just by selecting a polygon holding shift scaling and scaling in this direction like so oops no not that delete press backspace there you go and there's a hole in my geometry if you're an environment designer this is a, this is a dream because you you know you've got your your modeling package now inside the actual game engine itself which is fantastic um, but there's one feature about this that I really really like and if you're an artist this is this is um, particularly useful so if you imagine that that's a level an entire level that you've created here and it's finished and you as an artist are now going to start to apply detailed artwork and you want to take this and start doing that so all you've got to do is select everything like this go to tools pro builder export export obj like this save it in your folder builder export save yes right now remember what that looks like let's jump into 3d studio Boop, like this let's open that up file uh, import import and there it is builder export open uh, just import as a single mesh or you can import as an editable poly let's do that and just click on import there it is now it's inside 3d studio and you now can f use this to build your environment use it as a template um, to get all your sizes right, to get all your, to get the, to get absolutely everything spot on.
based on how the designer created it and that's really awesome fantastic so there it is in max at, the, at, the, at a simple click of a button um, I've exported it from unity and it's now into max unity creating objects is really, really simple you just make sure you're in object mode click new shape and you can change uh, change the shape you want to build you can have a stairs prism cylinder all sorts of shapes here um, go for cylinder go for cube whatever you want to do to find the size of it maybe it's a wall build cube Dink. there we go we've got a new object and once you've got that you can then um, you can start editing it using the editing tools very cool I honestly think if unity keep developing this it uh, could get a lot of uh, 3d application uh, vendors very worried because I think this is the way forward it's fantastic and you know if I was them I would keep developing this and make it I mean it's a full package you can you can apply you could actually build levels with this if your game is quite low poly you want it for like a mobile phone or something um, you can apply UVs and you can apply materials um, and you can build pretty good shapes and geometry with this so unity if you're listening keep developing it take it to the next level keep keep moving forward with it and i really look forward to using this in the future so once you've uh, you know i can now start now i've got it to this level i can start walking around you know i've even got the first person controller so it's so quick so easy to to create stuff for you know once you've got it set up don't want to fall down that hole you know collision is added can jump Whew. you know this took me literally two minutes if you spent a few days you could build a level quite easily and um, it could be ready for you know design and, and play testing quite quickly if you're a designer level designer this is a, this is brilliant fantastic you know the iteration and the speed at which you can test your levels now is, is fast really fast and once you're really happy with it you can just hand it over to a an artist and that's that's the power that you're looking for that's what you need you need to iterate really fast and this lets you do that so if you're not using this at the moment i think you need it in your life if you're an artist or a level designer it's something you need to be looking at something you need to be playing with and experimenting with if you uh, use unity for sure it's free go download it give it a try i'm going to be making more videos on this as we go forward and um, so watch out for those so that's it for now don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time if you want to learn to model to use substance painter and to use unity in a professional capacity check out my course on udemy by using the link in the description below which includes a discount voucher i hope to see you over there Thank you.